month. Throughout these four months of studying, um, whenever you're not studying or you're going for a run or exercising or um, you know just driving around, um, I would really suggest listening to these audio lectures by Dr. Golian. So you might not want to do his book, but his audio lectures are really helpful and very funny. He makes it a pleasure to listen to him. So if you want those audio lectures, um, you can find them online. There are a bunch. I mean, I'm sorry, Dr. William, but they are just like all over the place. Um, but I'm sure you can buy them off his website as well. Or you can buy, I think there were cassettes or CDs or something someone was selling on eBay or Amazon. So definitely check that out. The only uh, remaining resource in the first month is um, if you feel that you are very weak in physiology and the Kaplan lectures are not helping you, there's a very small book that you can use uh, for physiology by uh, Dr. Costanza, which is called um, BRS Physiology. And if you feel that, you know, Kaplan is just not doing it for you, if you really uh, feel that the physiology lectures, especially in CBS and RS, if you find it hard to understand anything, then that book is excellent. After you have spent that one month of really boring Kaplan lectures, you can, the next month, do something a little bit more fun. You can start DIT, Doctors in Training. It's a really great, quick um, resource for reviewing all of the material you just learned, but it's done in a really fun way. They make, uh, they have awesome mnemonics that you can use throughout your studying. They have uh, really fun skits that they do. They're just funny in general, and it's a breath of fresh air when you're, you know, rotting and studying for the same exam. You really need that. Second, um, you need a Q bank always. You need to always be practicing questions. So Kaplan Q bank is like something that if you don't do, it's okay. But I don't recommend just doing lectures without ever doing questions. So, um, but if you don't want to do all the Q-Banks, then Kaplan is the one to take out of the system. You don't have to do it. But USMLE RX is the one that I would do in the second month. And I know that there are some errors in that Q-Bank, but the cool thing is, is that if you find out that error and you write them a comment um, in the comment section that, hey, I found this error and this is the reference to it in first aid or whatever, then they will actually pay you. They'll send you a little Amazon gift card, like $10 per question, something like that. And I thought that was pretty cool. I earned a lot of money doing, doing that. So I really suggest that you use USMLE RX. Keep in mind that there might be some mistakes. Um, I don't know about the very uh, recent versions, but in the one that I took um, in 2014, there were a lot of mistakes that I could find. Third, third I would use this time to memorize first aid because both DIT and USMLE RX are geared towards the first aid. They actually reference back to first aid pages. So while you're learning, you can go back to first aid and read the uh, same page that they're teaching or that question is mentioning. So that I found incredibly helpful. Okay, so I would not annotate. I would not take notes in first aid from Kaplan or from USMLE RX, okay? The only thing that I would annotate from DIT into my first aid are basically the mnemonics or if there's something new that they have brought up that you can't find in your first aid and you know you you can have an idea that yeah this looks pretty important like they are telling you that this is I think they have a rating system something like five stars is a five star topic or whatever it is so you should definitely write that down if they say it's high yield, you should be writing that in your first aid, but don't write every minute detail because by the time you're done, um, your first aid will just be like covered and you won't be able to read anything. So don't do that. When do you actually start annotating your first aid? You should start annotating your first aid in the third month when you're doing UWorld. This is the best QBank you can use. It is one of the bare bones resources that you need to use for studying for step one. And UWorld is amazing. I mean, I got questions on the real exam that I was thinking, hey, I kind of remember something really similar in UWorld. And I remember that I had answered it. And, you know, it just, it links back. When you're taking the real exam, you can link it back to UWorld. It's very similar. 
Um, sometimes the questions are really tricky and twisted, whereas the actual exam is more um, straightforward and <laughs> your world really tries to trick you. So uh, don't get too caught up in that because if you keep thinking the questions are going to trick you, then on the real exam you might actually second guess yourself too much. So don't let that get to you. How do you use your world? So I would suggest that you do the questions always random time. If you want to do them subject wise, at least do them timed. I really don't suggest doing anything other than random time because by the time you get to your third month of studying, you want to start practicing test taking techniques. So UWorld is great for those. That's why you don't use UWorld in the beginning because in the beginning you don't know anything. <laughs> You don't know the material that you need to know to be able to answer new world questions. So don't waste those questions, those 2000 whatever questions in the beginning. That's why I suggest doing either Kaplan or USMLE RX first so that you can just um, get that information into your head and then use your world to learn, um, learn those concepts in the form of the test questions. So how would the test questions appear when they're asking about those certain topics? Definitely when you're doing your world, you need to go through it so carefully. This question bank is your main resource. This and first aid, like the two together are the most powerful resources and they will get you to pass this exam. Since it's your third month, you can use all your mnemonics, your first aid memorization. You can see what you're forgetting when you're taking um, the new world uh, blocks. So that's very helpful because now you can start fixing whatever uh, mistakes you're making. Don't get caught up in the percentages in new world. They don't mean anything. As long as you have a steady score or you're at least getting better and you're not getting worse, right? Um, then you know you're doing something right and you're going in the right direction. If your score is just not getting above maybe 50% for the longest time, I mean, by the end of the month, when you're done with your world and your score is not above 50%, then this technique is not working for you. You need to find something else. Maybe you need to take one of the uh, courses at Kaplan or I know there are so many Falcon and so many other courses. I don't know much about them, but I can uh, provide the information in the links below.